Yoski, I'm making this video, well, another boring video for me, somewhat begrudgingly, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, that's the difference between videography and Hollywood. I do not peddle lies, I do not make uh, make believe, it's just uh, stuff as it happens in reality. And the reality is that I've got two new tools uh, for one of my power tools, the oscillating multi tool, whatever thingy. It's an excellent plunge cutter. That's what it is. It's a plunge cutter. You know, it's a, it's not a silver bullet. In any case, what I've got here is this thing. I don't know how to even call it. And, you know, I was assuming that they will tell you on the packaging, like, what is the name of the thing? No, they don't. You know, model number. A-I-Z-10-A-B-B-I-M. Whatever. So this one, mostly because it's uh, very narrow. I think it's like 10 millimeters. This was the narrowest I could find. And also a second one, which didn't came with packaging, which kind of usually makes me worried. It's like, you know, did they found it on a street or something? But at least in this case for like my tooling, the seller I'm buying stuff from, they are very good, like reputable. And by reputable, I mean, I've bought enough of stuff from there, made enough of orders that they managed to screw up. A small percent a small percentage of them and it always came through like very professionally like yeah we'll send you we'll sending you the correct item right now and you know when you get the new item the same uh, courier will just uh, take the wrong one etc etc so really great uh, co customer customer service apologies you know begrudgingly in any case uh, let's open this stuff up because it's not gonna be leaving here and you should be already aware because of the thumbnail and the name of the video. So yeah, I'm actually doing this right now, not because I actually want to, it's, you know, I need to keep this stuff somewhere. And as you can, yeah, sorry for the loudness. And as you can imagine, this sort of stuff, it's uh, not really that uh, nice to store because these bits are sharp. This is kind of like, you know, like, what do you do with this crap? Well, I devised the solution some time ago that works for a lot of stuff. And uh, yeah, it's the Mag Pages Tool Holder solution, which is so extremely simple, trivial even, but hey, it's, you know, <laughs> ideas, execution, and it actually works very well. So let me grab this whole box, which is almost overflowing. Maria, let's get the... I mean, they are all the same, so I guess I should just focus on the stuff that I actually want to do, which is just to put them in their place. So we're just gonna get the... Oh, those three. So it's... I made six of them. They are all identical. And yes, here is the simplicity of it. It's an MDF board, number five, which is like acrylic coated just to make it last a little bit longer. And I've glued on an actual magnetic foil on it. So this is not ferromagnetic, this is magnetic, like properly magnetic. Nice swing. So yeah, metal stuff sticks to it, you know, magnetism. Nobody knows how it works, but it's awesome. And as you can see in this uh, half of the selection of the tooling, you can organize quite a lot of uh, tools for your power tools with this and it's uh, it's really useful and again the construction extremely easy you know some actual electrical pvc tape why because why not i mean not to have the top edges peel and yeah let me try to reorganize adding these two to the mix is this what I want? I don't think so. Basically, I don't do stuff from wood, so that's not really necessary. This one's extremely uh, wide. Also not much use, but hey, nice to have. You never know what you're gonna need. So let's put the shortest one here. And this one here, so it's even symmetrical. Whoa! I haven't planned on any of that. I do not do any specific plans, except that I want to be able to keep stuff 
easily accessible and you know kind of like knowing where the stuff is so yeah not much to be you know telling you about except that it is extremely nice now I'm thinking should I do a b-roll do I even care do you care well you obviously don't because you nobody watches those videos anyway yes such a mood today you know we're all human after all but yeah i think that should work i am i am personally satisfied and how was it before i think it was like this not that it matters much do not slide and yeah i mean the magnetic foil it's you know it's, it's not neodymium you're not gonna be hanging you know tens of kilograms off of it but uh, for stuff like those kind of tools it's perfectly adequate and it generally works somewhat better if you have more space but again shoebox is a shoebox it's a challenge on its own Okay, I guess this one's going to be a short one, so maybe you will actually watch more than a minute of it. Uh, in any case, uh, well, I have more stuff like this, but then it will look more like a product review, which this isn't. Alright, uh, uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day, etc, etc, and be in a better mood than I am. Bye! blister packs you know homo homini lupus est it's like why why would anyone devise this atrocious thing okay plastic I guess I should keep the manual. Nice.